Pulse Sampling. A sampling signal is a periodic train of pulses having unit amplitude. Sampled at equal intervals which is called as the sampling time. This data is transmitted at the time instants. Say a sample, a graph which shows that what is pulse sampling here. Now let us understand what is sampling rate. To discretize the signals and gap between the sample should be fixed. Then what is sampling theorem? While considering the sampling rate, an important point regarding how much the rate has to be shipped. The rate of sampling should be such that the data in the message should not lose. To put it in simpler words, the sampling rate should be twice the highest frequency. This rate of sampling is called as the Nyquist rate. The sampling theorem which is also called as the Nyquist theorem. Let us implement this practically. The circuit diagram is as follows. See the frequency, sampling frequency is more than double of the applied signal that is message signal thereby Nyquist theorem is satisfied. Let us see the output. Say the IC LF398 is mounted on the blackboard and a resistor and there is an input signals. So it is uh, so roughly around 7 kilohertz square waveform sampling signal and a message signal of around 699 hertz even 1 kilohertz will do that. So this satisfies the Nyquist conditions thereby the output should be pulse sampling or natural sampling. See the output. For this I see we have to give plus or minus 12 volts power supply. See the output here. This is called pulse sampling. Okay, so simple experiment. Try this. Thank you for watching the video. I think this experiment made easy.